Hey folks, Matthew here once again with another Star Citizen video. This time I thought I'd give you a quick tour of the social module that was released two or three weeks ago now. We start in my hangar, as you would do if you were looking for the module. This is the Selfland hangar, which I haven't featured so far, but it's the basic hangar that, as the current plans are worded, everyone will start with. It's quite nice, I might give you a more detailed tour later on. But before we go into the social module, something that I want to show you that I certainly missed because I skimmed the patch notes, so you may as well. If I go into third person view here, you can see my character wearing some armor. Let's see if I can find some better light, hold on. There we are. He's there in his armor, and if I press F6, change his armor to a different set. And again. And again, and again, and one more time, and back to the original. So these six armors are based on the different roles that are present in the upcoming Star Marine module. So we have, one you're seeing at the moment is the heavy UEE armor, so very heavy but quite slow moving and low mobility. We have the Outlaw Light, which is fast, Outlaw Medium, Outlaw Heavy, and then UEE Light, Medium, Heavy, again. Don't know if there's a way for me to show you the front, possibly, but I don't know what it is. So we'll skip that. Really looking forward to Star Marine, can't wait for it to come out. Hopefully that'll be soon, and I can do a whole other video on it. Anyway, to access the social module, which is why we're here, we come into this little room here. All of the hangars that are available have rooms like this, I believe. I don't know if that's true for the asteroid hangar, actually. I know it's true for the Southland, the Aeroview, and the Revel in York hangar. They all have a small room behind the spawn point. I haven't actually looked at the asteroid hangar myself, so... If it is, then great. If not, well, then I don't know what I'm talking about, clearly. See my Poesy collection there? So, to access the actual module itself, we need to go into this little elevator here. And I quite like the the stark contrast. We've got the, the rough and ready basic hangar here, and the nice shiny elevator in here. It's that unit. Anyway, to actually access the module, we need to use this console. Arcorp, that's the social module. Or oh, that's the, the name of the planet that we're going to. And a loading screen, so I'll come back to you once it's all loaded. See you in a minute. And we're back in an elevator full of very cramped people. Ah, some people are ducking, that explains it. Possibly because we're colliding. If I pull out... Yes, it's because we're colliding. So anyway, if we come out of the elevator into this little area, this is the customs area of the landing zone. So if we come up from our hangar there, or we land our ship on the pad that's out there, we come into this area to declare goods, weapons, etc. You see a freelancer out there. Which is possible to get to if you glitch through this glass, but I haven't been able to do that yet. I'll give it another try later on. Ah, there's somebody on the outside. And we have all these people wandering around. Now these are all other players. People who have joined us in this particular instance of the social module. At the moment it's just first come first serve. Once you join the social module, the game will fill you up into whatever instance has space. It, hopefully soon they'll add it so that you're added to the same one as your friends, which isn't the case yet. As we have a bunch of people all around, I'll quickly show you the augmented reality mode, which brings up a nice menu which tells us who these people are. So let's see, we've got... It's a bit glitchy at the moment, but let's try over here. Mr. No, Pistol Star, Anthonius. I think that's how you pronounce that. So yeah, that's quite nice. This will have a lot of uses in the future for the shopping and things, but it's 
just showing who's who at the moment. Now here we have a nice hologram of the actual social area, which we will see shortly. It's a sort of, you know, nice map showing you where everything is. That's useful. Anyway, we'll come out of this customs area and go through the declaration area where you're scanned for weapons, contraband, just generally to see if you're actually allowed on the planet or not. And we have some actual NPCs in the background here, not that they're doing anything at the moment, they're just sort of standing there, breathing in and out. Nothing happens here at the moment, unfortunately, but hopefully soon. Moving on. We come out into the main plaza of Arcorp. So yeah, this is the planet we're on, it's called Arcorp, because it's owned by the company Arcorp. I think the planet is actually called Staten 3, third planet in the Staten system, which is a system of super Earths. There's a couple of other company owned planets around in the system, but this is the first one. It's very evocative of Coruscant, I guess. Huge tall towers, corporations owned, etc. Oh, there's a 300i flying overhead. Yes, lots of ships flying around. These are all on on rails, of course. There's no players flying through here. Although that is possible if you exchange this map for one of the Arena Commander maps. You can fly around this area. There's a very nice video from Scott Manley showing, showing him trying to do that. Anyway, that's enough looking at the sky. Let's go over to Cubby Blast. This is the, this is the first shop. Well, it's the shop that's on its own, so it's probably best to go with this one first. Now this is your weapons retailer. Actually, I'll bring up my augmented reality again. Like we can see... So these are the weapons that you can buy, or will be able to buy. You can't buy them yet. Energy pistol, ballistic pistol, energy rifle, ballistic rifle. You can sort of tell the theme. Burst cannon, ballistic rifle. These are the, the, the electric shotguns, basically. Yeah, and handheld pistols, rifles. There'll be lots to pick from eventually. I'm told there'll be sniper rifles. I want my sniper rifle. Electric cannons, energy rifles. Grenades, of course, of different types. Force propulsion, EMP, frag. Ammo and defensive holograms. And the head of a vandal, which is quite nice. Would rather see it attached to the rest of the Vandal, but that's just me. Oh, knife. I wonder if you can buy a knife. Well, not yet, obviously. So what's this? This is a... Initially designed for high-risk raids of the advocacy... CDS has finally become... This quick deployment barricade or quick cage is a mobile system capable of projecting a localized... Oh, it's a portable shield. Okay, that's cool. And this is a hologram which was shown in the FPS demo way back when, which is just a hologram of a person that you put down. The enemy shoots at it so that you know where they are, but without actually endangering your own life. It's a nice idea. Another NPC in a slightly different outfit. I like his hat. I want his hat. And of course, these posters are still here in the 30th century. Ay, will they ever go away? Doubt it. Moving on. Medical unit. So obviously if you're being shot at, you're going to be injured. Or you're going to injure somebody else. So you need to have some way of repairing your body. And that's what this is. Bunch of some basic medical supplies. You've got a quick recovery system. Oh, excuse me. A more robust mobile defibrillator that will repair you a bit more. Same again, same again. Diner pack, that was back over there as well, what was this? This is a... It's another quick first aid system. Do you mind? And we see a, a NPC in a medical uniform, which is quite nice. Hopefully you'll be able to interact with him as well. That would be nice. Just interact with the NPCs generally. Maybe get missions from them or something. Remove the augmented reality for the moment. 
Coming down the street a little bit. Excuse us. We come to the Art Corp job well. Now this is where you would come to pick up your your basic jobs. You know the sort of thing, MMO type stuff. Take X amount of cargo Y to location Z. Pick up loot in the form of credits. Yes, United Empire credits, of course. There's a map of the world there. And all those sorts of things. All legitimate cargo, of course. Every job here is entirely above board and honest. There's a Mustang. This is a nice vista as well. Actually, let's come over here. So we have this vista where we see a constellation. Supposedly, this is the new model constellation with the redesigned interior. I haven't seen it yet. I don't know if it's possible to glitch out there. I assume it must be. But I haven't seen it, so I'll look forward to seeing that when people do. And more ships flying past. Have it for Voyage Direct. Two, three hundred eyes. Notice, of course, that they're all the ships that are currently in Arena Commander that are flying past. None of the constellations or freelancers are flying past yet. Presumably because they're not ready. This, interestingly, has no NPCs in. That's weird. Hopefully they'll add them later. Also, they do plan on adding NPCs that are just wandering around going about their day-to-day -day business. At the moment, the place does look a bit spartan because it's kind of void of all life. Oh, I didn't talk about this thing, actually. Let's go over here. I really like this thing, sort of the gear is all interleaved and interlinked together. It's kind of cool. Nice sculpture. Not quite sure how it's supposed to be working, but it works. It's quite fun. We come over here to the G-Lock bar. This is, well, it's a bar. This is where you would come for a drink, to relax, meet up with your friends, and maybe pick up slightly less than legitimate jobs. Or jobs from smugglers and... well, I say that. This is all speculative until they actually introduce the system. Some drinks here. Can't drink yet, unfortunately. That's entirely limited to the hangar. It's weird because you can hear the people speaking in the noise, in the, in the background noise. There's nobody here. I'm literally the only, well, aside from the bartender who's just a static NPC, I'm literally the only person in the bar at the moment. So, that's a bit weird. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, jobs. Old veteran pilots, people who need to move slightly less than legitimate cargo, all that sort of thing. This is the sort of place you would come to get that. And it goes to the dance floor. F12 brings up the chat window. And I can use emotes, like dancing. There's some other dances as well. Let's go dance... three. Though they do look kind of similar. The dances are very minimalistic. Although, yeah, that looking at it from first person perspective is first person perspective is weird because your head's moving but you don't have the kinesthetic sense of where your body is, so wow. That's kinda weird. Oh, excuse me. Let's move on to Where is next on the field? Let's go over this way. I pronounced this wrong last time I looked at it. This is Kasaba. Kasaba Outlet. This is your clothing outfitted. Where you buy trousers, jackets, shirts, hats, shoes, presumably. Let's give it to the chat window. But as you can see, it isn't open yet. Hopefully soon. They haven't quite finished the uh, character stuff yet. Yeah, of course, character stuff is important because they are doing the whole system of what you wear 
affects what you can do. Like, if you want to carry a certain amount of equipment, you need to have bags and pockets and things to keep them in, so... There's a little bit of gameplay in there, but hopefully there'll be enough options that you can just basically design up where what you want. Where should I go next? Let's go... Well, over there is where I want to go last, because those are the last two big areas. Let's go in here first. So, as you can see, this area is a little less well-kept than the area we were just in. This is sort of the back alleys. It's where you would go for really not-so-legitimate business. Or possibly be mugged, depending on what you're up to, what gameplay you have available. Yes, planetside environments won't be PvP environments, but they won't entirely be safe either. There'll be some PvE. Is this guy gonna mug me? No, nope, because he's a static... No, he's a player. He's not a static NPC, of course he isn't. There aren't NPCs out in the wild. He's just some random player, standing in the middle of the alleyway, for no reason. Anyway, I'm sure he's doing something. Away from keyboard. Oh, another nice vista over here. Got the bank logo in the far distance there. Move away you direct, you can see the sun. Ships flying overhead. Some really nice vistas on this planet. It does make me want to just go out there and see what those buildings are doing, but hopefully when they add more areas to this planet, I'll be able to go to some of them. Yeah, this is only the first area. They are going to add more more places to go. Got the incinerators here, which is quite nice. Gotta do something with all this trash that a city planet produces. Though, you know, the guy clearly isn't doing his job properly if all of this stuff is still around here, but that looks reasonably full anyway, so I guess the guy just isn't able to keep up with demand. It's entirely reasonable on a planet of this size. I say that like I have any idea what the planet's population actually is. I gather it's pretty populous, though. Because of Cutlass. And we come around back to the G-Lock bar. There's a 300 eye flying overhead. Let's go over to the bridge. Really looking forward to when they get some NPCs wandering around. It really adds some life to the thing. Another nice vista. Very indicative of Coruscant. And other city planets. I know Coruscant isn't unique. Not even in Star Wars is Coruscant unique. There's something flying overhead. Ah, here comes the Gladius. Very quiet. Ah, oh, there's another Gladius. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, going to other areas. The idea, as I understand it, is that they will introduce some sort of public transport system so that they can just add lots of discrete areas, and then when they want to add a new one, they can just put another stop in the public transport network and job done. Which is good, because then you don't have to redesign the map every time you want to add a new area. Of course, in the ideal world, you'd be able to map the entire planet, but that would be prohibitive in terms of just sheer man-hours possible. Because you'd have to model each and everything. Build each and everything from the ground up. Anyway, enough staring at ships flying overhead. Come over to warships, in the form of Astro Armada. That was neat, don't you jump? Ooh, that music gives me chills. Love that advert. So this is the... A showroom for ships, basically. We have this M50 in the middle, doing its little presentation thing. Again, not much happening here. The whole thing's pretty empty. Another guy in the cap, with a logo on it, for some sort of sports team, probably. 
Caterpillar. That's a Bengal class carrier. That's the copy for a Hornet, I think. Ah, there's a Merlin over here. Oh, well, picture of a Merlin anyway. That's some nice concept art there. Sort of stuck in as an Easter egg, I guess. Oh, you can hear the turntables turning. That's nice. Be interesting to see what they do with the the ship buying interface. I mean, sort of what you can see and what you can't see. I presume this has something to do with it, but it's entirely cosmetic at the moment. Lots of functionality will be coming online in the very near future, hopefully. Anyway, so this is where you would buy your new ships, new shiny ships, fresh off the production line. If you want a ship that's maybe not so shiny, not, not so new, and not so expensive, you would go here, to Dumpers Depot, which is your second-hand parts retailer. We come inside, we reuse and recycle everything. True enough. You can see a whole bunch of stuff in the background, there's a nice gun. Get what kind of gun that is. Seats from an Aurora, I think. Some tractor emitters. And a Hornet being taken apart in the background. Oh, and a buggy. Don't forget the buggy. And I like this guy's leather jacket. I want that. Just that look is pretty cool. I like that. So yeah, as I said. A second-hand retailer. Cheap stuff, stuff that maybe doesn't work quite as well or have has much life in it. Also, interestingly, if I activate the augmented reality, this thing is connected to Dumpers Depot's AR network as well, which I guess is tying it into all the items, how much they cost, what condition they're in, etc. But hopefully, we'll find out in the near future what that precisely entails. And that's it. That's pretty much every area I can think of. There's a little bridge up there, but it's more of the same. So, for the sake of brevity, I'll skip that and say simply thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen and want to find out more, you can do so at robertspaceindustries.com. Of course, check out my channel for future videos on Star Citizen and other games that I find interesting. Thanks again for watching, and I shall see you in the verse.